I'm here in Reykjavik and you can see it's an absolute gorgeous day. People are walking around down here in the harbor front. Absolute amazing out right now. The sun is beaming down. We only have about seven hours of natural light at this time of the year in Reykjavik. So we're gonna get out and we're gonna see the city. What you're seeing here is probably one of the most symbolic buildings and churches in all of Iceland. And we're going to go up to the top and check out the view. The Lutheran church was designed to resemble the basalt lava flows of Iceland's surreal landscape. It took 38 years to build, starting in 1945 and ending in 1986. The structure stands 244 feet tall, making it the largest church in Iceland and one of the country's most recognized landmarks. So after speaking with one of the locals, they said if I wanted to try some traditional Icelandic food, I gotta try out this little place right here. It's called Cafe Loke. I've always believed that when you come to a new place you got to try their local food so there you have it I've tried local shark and honestly I don't even know what the, the big fuss is about it wasn't too bad Nah, it was pretty good I don't know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow about it but uh, I guess tomorrow's a new day. The following day a team of international tourists were set to go glacier hiking and ice climbing with the experienced folks at Arctic Adventures. This is truly one of the best ways to experience Iceland's captivating landscapes. Our guides Simi and Jester were getting us all geared up with the necessary tools for the exploration on the glacier. We look pretty badass. So we're here making our way towards the glacier. We're going to do our, our ice climbing, introduction to ice climbing with Arctic Adventures. We're going to have them tell us a little bit about the glacier in a short while. But I'm just going to give you an idea of what this landscape looks like. See my group up there up ahead with the orange helmets? Absolutely stunning. See people down on the glacier now? Look at this place. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. At first glance, it reminded me of a couple of places mixed into one. One being the mountain area, uh, Canadian Rockies. You see over to the left of me here. Almost looks like the coastline of Newfoundland. Yeah, we're not on the coast. And then we got Glacier, and then this black rock, which looks like the moon. It really is quite a, quite a place.
Once we reached the ice wall, our head guide Simi gave us a demonstration of how it was done, of course making it look easy. Believe it or not, Skogafoss used to be part of the coastline in southern Iceland. The sea has receded nearly 5 kilometers since then, but many seabirds still call the cliffs here home. On our way back to Reykjavik, we made a stop to look at the site of the 2010 eruption. On April 14th, the subglacial volcano erupted, causing meltwater to rush down in nearby rivers rushing towards the sea. 800 people in the area were evacuated, including many farmers. Volcanic ash and debris can be seen today scattered amongst the adjacent mountains. Iceland is said to be one of the most volcanically active islands in all the world, and this, Mount Hecla, is one of its most active volcanoes. It is known locally as the Gateway to Hell. Although my time in Iceland was short, the memories of this unique country will last a lifetime. With such a variety of geological wonders, friendly locals, and interesting culinary, Iceland should be on anybody's list that embraces adventure and the natural world. I can certainly say I will be back to explore more of Iceland, and hopefully in the not-so-distant future. Until then, safe travels.